What's good you guys? Welcome back to another video in the 12 Days of Christmas series. It's officially day seven. We've made it past halfway. Okay, it's almost Christmas you guys. I had an early start. Uh, I woke up around 6 a.m. Installed this beautiful kinky straight wig that y'all saw. Okay, it is giving natural. Like, this is, this is it for me, I think. Um, I was able to blend my leave out decently it is a different color and i definitely need a trim real bit but it worked out for the most part like i just feel like this type of hair looks very natural on me it's not too silky it's like kind of frizzy but like straight enough to where it looks like i straightened my own hair so i'm loving it i finally just caved and bought it and i'll link it below because it was so easy to install if you saw i ended up washing my hair like i said in my last vlog and rebraiding it and yeah it worked out i tried to keep as little leave out as possible um just so that i wasn't like frying all of my hair on the top but yeah i love it i don't know how long i'm gonna wear this for i kind of miss my curls <laughs> i'm not gonna lie yeah anyways it's about almost 10 a.m um, I'm gonna head home. I got some good studying in this morning. I was studying for my Pilates certification, so I feel like I was productive today so far. Um, and yeah, I got like a really delicious coffee. And the reason why I got up so early is because this coffee shop gets packed so fast. Like, you have to get there bright and early before people start work because people work from home and they just like go to Caldi that's the spot in this area so anyways we're off to a very productive start and yeah I have a call with my friend at noon so we're gonna head home some more things done and then yeah I'll check in with you guys in a little bit all right guys we're back home um and you won't believe what I just picked up finally this probably means nothing to you I just picked up my wedding dress. It's been at the cleaner since October <laughs> and it's December, clearly. It's almost Christmas. So we're about to open her up and see what she looks like. Hopefully she's clean. Hopefully she's not destroyed from the wedding. Let's take a look.
perfect. She is super duper clean. And back to her OG color at the bottom. That's what I was most worried about. But they did a beautiful job. She's perfect. I actually need to adjust how they hung it because um, the bridal shop the alterations shop was telling me that it shouldn't hang from the straps because it can get stretched out so it looks like that's how they hung it um instead of hanging it from the little like assist hangers hangy loops so i'm gonna fix that real quick yeah <laughs> So I found a place in my closet to hang her. <laughs> She's literally hanging on the door because it's so big. I don't know where else to put it. Um, Jesus, this pimple is killing me. But yeah, if you guys have any ideas on what to do with wedding dresses after the wedding, I know a lot of people just preserve it and put them in a box, which I'll probably end up doing, but I just don't have space in this apartment for like... A massive box to preserve my dress. I actually don't know how big the boxes are so I probably should do some research on that. Um, but yeah I just don't know what to do with her right now and I don't want her to get like yellow or anything because that's what people say happens to the dress like if you don't preserve it. So yeah and I was talking to the lady um, at the cleaners and she was like don't mess with the dress like don't like take any fabric from it to make like something else or whatever because that was one of my ideas but she was like don't do it like save it for an anniversary i'll probably just figure out how to preserve it but let me know if you guys have any um if you guys have any recommendations in the area for like preserving wedding dresses anyways it's almost 11 we're gonna take ava on a little stroll around 11 30 ish and then i have a call with my friend at 12 so it's back to back today and then i need to figure out how to soak off these nails y'all because these are gel x and i absolutely adore gel x um i've been getting them for the past few times i've got my nails done i got them for the wedding and they did not chip did not break like they lasted me literally a month and this time like i'm pretty sure i've had these for a month as well and although they do look pretty natural and I could probably get away with having them for like another week or two, they're just getting too long for me. Like I just like, I don't know, they just, they're growing out a lot and I kind of just want them off. Um, and I want to kind of become a press on girly because I feel like I could save so much money and I'm really like willing to do press ons um when i when i picked up this wig on amazon they sent like this little package of like wig cap and like an edge um wrap thing this thing and then they sent me some press on nails which was ironic because i had just bought some good like nail glue they sent me these they're like hot pink and i'm definitely going to use these because why not um and i got this super nail glue which had great reviews on amazon so i'll make sure to have it on my amazon storefront as well if y'all want to pick that up i'll actually let you guys know how that nail glue is once i can figure out how to get these off i was looking it up and some people said just soak it in hot like warm water Mm, I highly doubt these are going to come off with warm water. I don't know. These are like cemented on. I might do, I've heard um, like oil, like olive oil, soap, and like warm water can work. So I think I'm going to try to like file these down as much as I can and then just soak them for like 20 minutes and see if I can pry them off because I really want to put on some new nails. Yeah, we do have a trip coming up in, what's today? Today, Wednesday? in literally a day two days what so i need to start preparing for that um i'm just gonna wear my hair like this most likely so hair is good but nails need to be done 
and if i can't get these off i'm just gonna go to the nail salon like it is what it is i don't want to go to the nail salon but i might just go just to get them off and then do my own nails at home so we'll see hopefully I can get them off today. We also have to pack. So packing will probably be tomorrow. So I'll definitely film that and then we leave on Friday. So I'm not gonna tell y'all where we're going yet just to like keep it cute. It's not anything crazy. We're not going on like a massive trip. I don't even know if I mentioned it in another vlog. I probably already did. So it's probably not even a surprise, but I'm trying to surprise y'all now if y'all haven't figured it out where we're going. So yeah we leave friday morning um my mom's gonna watch ava for me yeah it's gonna be a cute trip i'm excited um it's gonna be a quick trip we're gonna come back on monday so i'll try to film as much as of that as possible and yeah so um other than that i'm gonna chill for a little bit until we take Ava on a walk and then we're gonna pry these nails off later oh my gosh the amount of time it took for me to get my nails off i want to say it took me two hours like seriously like it should not have taken me that long i honestly should have went and got like paid to get them off because first of all it was extremely painful secondly i sliced like two or three of my fingers open like seriously i like sliced my fingers open i don't know if y'all can see that there's like it's like a kind of like a paper cut but like a little bit thicker i'm pretty sure i have like carpal tunnel in my hands right now like my hands are cramping up <laughs> it was just i i highly do not recommend doing that um uh yeah and then i put some cuticle oil on them and they're looking a lot better feeling a lot better they're just very weak right now so i'm a little sad because i wanted to put on the press-ons i didn't think that they would be this bad um but the press-ons are gonna have to wait i'm gonna have to put those on right before the trip maybe on the way to where we're going i'm gonna put those on because my nails need as much air as they can possibly get in circulation but yeah guys it's like 4 p.m the sun is going down because it's winter we have absolutely no daylight in the winter time wow my hand actually really hurts holy crap um but yeah i just want to check in i started editing this vlog just so i could get it done quicker but i do need to continue the day obviously because we're not done and it's day seven so i was gonna go to target today but i think i'm gonna save that for tomorrow because i do have to get a few things before we leave yeah i'm gonna cook something and then probably get a workout in so that is the plan let's go cook and then get a workout in so we were cooking dinner pasta a little broccoli or whatever oh that's getting brown i need to take that off some kale spinach a little sh chicken and then we found out oh yeah we got to say <laughs> Bradley Benson takes it! <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. I gotta... He has. I'm super happy. I don't think you know, but you're in my other vlog walking into the test. Really? Yeah, I was like, maybe Brad. <laughs> 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 he passed y'all. He's a I professional passed. engineer. I am. Once I get my official license, you know. So. We're so proud of him. Shout out to you. 
for holding it down. I didn't do it. So I, didn't, I didn't take that test. And shout out to your mom's prayers. Cause yeah, mom prays. They be happen. working. They for sure be working. So. <laughs> You're just smart. I'm going to give it to God, to be honest. Because if it weren't. My little engineer, <laughs> my little Brad the Builder. <laughs> Celebrate, turn up. Eh. Yes, sir. Right there. <laughs> she had to check herself. She's like, I don't believe it. I don't believe it, but it's right there, mama. You see the P, Ava? Followed by the E. <laughs> you see the P followed by the E, girl? <laughs> All right, now get off. <laughs> come on, mama, come, come, 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 Okay, straight to the food bowl. Oh. Real quick little pointer, go to Whole Foods, get the creme brulee Madeleines, put some like vanilla ice cream over it. It'll change your life. Look at this, look at this. I like to mix it. This is favorite uh, dessert. Cheers. Hey y'all, checking in. It's late, um, it's almost 10, and I'm ready for bed. Clearly, I have my bonnet on, uh, skincare on, although my skin has been acting up lately, but what are you gonna do? Um, but yeah, after we ate, we like watched TV and showered and all that good stuff so i'm tired i think that workout wiped me out i'm gonna close out this vlog here i work in the morning so tomorrow's day eight of the 12 days so i do want to get some rest and i have to start like finish editing this video tonight so yeah so i need to close it out now um so i can begin filming tomorrow morning and drop this for you guys on time so thank you so much for watching if you are still watching if you watched this whole video i appreciate you so much and make sure to leave a comment below so i can check in with you i hope you're having a wonderful holiday so far and i'll see y'all tomorrow good night